Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. Um, today we will be talking about log for shell. So if you have been following the technical trend or um, vulnerability news or cybersecurity news, you should know by now that um, there is a Apache vulnerability called Log4 Shell, and it comes with the CVE 2021-44228. And an IBM user called Adam Frank did post a blog on how we can use Curator or IBM Curator to be able to detect this Log4 for shell vulnerability in our environment if it's trying to be exploited or if we have any servers that are vulnerable to this we will get a notification we can create this rule and this rule will notify us if it finds anything in curator so we can go we'll start by going into our curator CE here you know I'm using the community edition um, if you're using the regular curator in your environment, maybe in a corporate world, these steps are going to be the same. So the first thing you want to do is go to your fence tab and you want to go to rules and we want to go to actions and we are creating a new event rule. Okay. Once we select the new event rule creation, we're going to go next. We want to select the event option because this rule is going to apply to it for events. Okay. And here we want to type a filter regex because we want to select the when um, setting, when a setting uh, pattern or properties are found that we're going to include in here match a regular express expression that we're going to do so <clears throat> the first thing we want to change are the properties we want to add the URL custom if you want to follow with me um, below in the description I have the link to the documentation that I am going through while making this video or that I went through before making this video so you can use that documentation and follow me step by step so we can create this rule. So the first property we're going to add is URL custom and then we're going to also add username. Once we add that, I'm going to go ahead and submit it. And then we want to use the regular expression in the documentation. So we're going to copy that and paste it in here submit and once we do that we want to export this as a building block so we're going to give it a name bb log for shell evasion parting one okay and we'll save that And once we save that, we want to do the second one, okay? So the same thing, properties, we'll add URL, custom. Then we're going to add the username, okay, as well. Submit. And then we're gonna add the other regex expression on there. Okay, so we'll copy that and we'll paste this in here. Okay, once we do that, we also want to export this one as a building block. for shell and this pattern we 
base. Five, ten, one. Okay. And then once we export that building block, now the next thing we want to do is create the actual rule. Okay. So we're going to change here. We're going to go events because we want the option that says when event matches of the following rules. Okay. There we go. So we we'll change this and we'll change the rules to BB. Okay, we'll add those two building blocks we created. Once we do that, we're going to submit. We're going to change the any to any and all okay because if you use the all option it's gonna have to match both building blocks but we want to use any so once we select the any, we're going to put this under intrusion detection for now and we'll give it a name. We'll just call it uh, log for shell detection. And then we're going to go next. And we want to ensure that this detect is part of an offense. Uh, the, the, the detected event is part of an offense. So we want it to be by source IP. And we're also going to select the option for it to dispatch a new event. And we'll call this event name Detected Potential log for shell activity okay and then for description we can just put an event was found that could be log for shell vulnerability exposure okay and we want to leave the, the relevance right at 10 and we're going to change this to a uh, potential exploit. And then we'll put potential web exploit because that's what it is. If you have email notifications activated on your curator, you can add that as well. And then we want to ensure that the dispatch event is part of an offense. Okay once we do that we're gonna go next and finish okay so if we go if we go in there we're going to see that our log for shell rule has been created okay and if we open that up we see here that we have that successfully created at this point, if you if Curator finds any events in um, your environment that matches any of these rules, it's going to throw an offense, letting you know that that particular source IP or the server or machine with, or application with that particular source IP is vulnerable to a log for shell. To the log for shell vulnerability so that brings us to the end of this video if you also want to know how you could like 
prevent or block this attack from being successful because Curator is going to detect it for you it's not going to be able to block it if you want to know how to block this you can check out my other video that we use the FortiGate or Fortinet 30E um, with um, the FortiGuard subscription IPS to be able to create an IPS profile that we added to a rule to detect and block this log for shell vulnerability. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.